that music touches parts of our brain, the emotional center that creates um, release of our body's natural opiates. For example, endorphins and encaphalins and serotonin and all of those things are released, are triggered by auditory stimulation and music is prime in that. And it's without any pharmacologic intervention. It's simply using the music as the medicine. Time we start outside. Jacqueline typically will meet the patients uh, ahead, and I, I think that has a lot to do with it, with just Jacqueline coming out and meeting that, them and, and being so so wonderful to them. Uh, but then introducing the music part as well. Our, our hypotheses are that we. Um, are looking to reduce anxiety, um, reduce anesthesia requirements, namely propofol, um, reduce the time in the post-operative care unit, and improve patient satisfaction with the surgical experience. So with um, all of those questions, we have decided to embark on a two-year, 200-patient study um, with women undergoing breast biopsy surgery. And um, of course, Dr. Leeming takes the best care of the physical body, and Diane takes the best care of the pain and the comfort. And as music therapists, we believe in the surgical arena, we can really care for the emotional being of a person and so together as an interdisciplinary team we feel we can present the total package to take care of um, the entire person. What we're going to look at will be if there's any difference in anesthetic requirements between our three study groups. Um, we'll look at that, we'll look at their anxiety levels, we'll monitor that in a particular way and then we'll look at their satisfaction after Words. And really all of that, if you set the body up to be in a, a more peaceful and loving environment, starting from the beginning, it's just going to be healing before we ever make the incision. So when I was a nurse, I was a hospice nurse for oh, about 12 years, and I noticed that the harp music, because I was playing harp at that time, the harp music had a very beneficial effect on their pain. We will offer them, um, if they are not a control, either live, a live presentation of their favorite song or a recorded presentation of their chosen favorite song. They will give me um, their favorite song prior to and I'll either download it off of iTunes or I will learn it personally and we will present their favorite song in one of those fashions. And then all of those patients that are in the music groups will receive recorded heart music during their surgeries. Usually these procedures uh, will be doing breast biopsies and those are traditionally done under uh, monitored anesthesia care which is like a twilight sleep and some of patients require a little more, a little less and they'll be in varying stages of sleep but your subconscious never sleeps and they'll, they'll be hearing this healing music and it will really be changing their bodies even if they can't remember hearing the music it still makes a profound effect. I think it's very important what, what we realize as surgeons, I, I have my music playing in the operating room and, and one of my stipulations for Jacqueline was I, I have to be able to play my music even if the patient has theirs. So we know as a team that that's, we work well as a team and music enhances that. So I'm certainly open to this. I, I, again in our pilot study it was very effective. So I, I, think, I think we can learn. 
And uh, just so you know, because of the stipulation, all the patients will be wearing headphones that are noise reducing to outside noise. So the patients, the control patients have headphones on that um, reduce all or most noise. And then of course the patients who have their own music, we're, we have selected soothing harp music because Kathy Joe's study um, proved to be so remarkable that we're using harp, recorded harp music. Um, they will also have noise reducing headphones so that our surgeon can still have her music therapy. Two years from Two now, years. we should have um, some very, very exciting results. I think that it helps people relax. And it puts them at a state of calm. Yeah, I do. I play music for my 10-month-old daughter every night. It's our bedtime routine. <laughs> so how does it feel to have someone singing to you? It's good. It put me to sleep. <laughs> it does what my daughter it does Aww. to her. Good, good. So. So by using research to measure and assess the eff effects of what we do, I think is, is one of the ways we can assure our place in the future is for music therapists. When we collaborate with other healthcare professionals.